The Majority Report. Global computer hacking effort. China's Politburo directed the intrusion into Google's computer systems in that country. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a country that would unilaterally spy or hack into or close down websites? The outrage. The outrage. The outrage. That could never happen in this country. Never, ever, oh, wait a second. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, Mashable.com reports that the Department of Homeland Security Immigration and Customs Enforcement Office has seized TorrentFinder.com, has seized the domain, and 77 other domains what do you think? Why would they seize these domains? Based on terrorism? Because we have to stop an intimate, uh, imminent attack. Isn't that why uh, China does it? Uh, no, actually, oh, it's because they got some complaints about copyright infringement. <laughs> complaints. Mm. No adjudication. They sent no letters to any of these entities. They just seized them. And under what authority have they done it? Is it uh, COICA? The Digital Millennium Copyright Act? Or Combating Online Infringements and Counterfeits Acts? Either one of those, COICA or DMCA? No, uh, as far as I know. Uh, I don't think they've either, either one of those has passed yet. But it certainly wasn't under the auspices of those, it was simply, there was, uh, we received copyright infringement notices, we're going to seize these websites. And uh, one of them, this torrentfinder.com, it doesn't even house these. It's simply a search engine for torrents, BitTorrent. Dorsey's looking very concerned, let me just say this. <laughs> That's bad. Um, there goes our movie night. You know, and we just had Jane Hampshire on talking about where there can be some common cause. I would hope that libertarians would have a real problem with the market infringement that the government plays in the realm of intellectual property. Right? I mean, when we hear all this stuff about free market, free market, the government intervention, what could be a greater intervention than the government's deciding that certain intellectual property we're going to use the government to enforce it. And we're going to deem what is intellectual property and what is not. And we're going to create a, a type of property that does not exist in nature. Right? This isn't like my cup or my stapler, which we can all agree is right here. We know where its boundaries lie. This is my property. But are these words that are coming out of my mouth? Are these ideas, are these ideas my property? If I create music, is it my property? I mean, I can put it on a record and I can say, this is my, this is my CD. This, this hard thing is my, my, my property. So this notion of intellectual property, it does not exist in nature. Uh, just ask the Native Americans. I mean, they didn't even have any concept of, uh, of a personal, a private property. But here we have this massive government intervention. And you don't hear libertarians crying about that. Maybe you do. Maybe you do hear some of them. I mean, maybe that's, you know, we're talking about people online, you know, big online activists. But this is an outrage. The notion that the government, based on complaints only, can shut down and seize websites sort of makes that revelation about what China was doing in these WikiLeaks a little bit less devastating, no? Hmm? The Majority Report.